Hey now, hey now. What's up, Andrew from Over the Line? Um, quick update as we're not going to have a show tonight because I have somehow lost my voice. So, um, had everything prepared, knew exactly what we were going to talk about tonight, and then boom, lost my voice. I don't even know. I don't know what caused it. I don't know if I'm getting sick or whatever. I don't have time to be sick. So, uh, we'll just... We'll do some. I'll do the show. If it, if it's still like this tomorrow or it's worse, I will do the show tomorrow like this. I don't even care. As long as y'all listen to it, that's all that matters. Because tonight we're going to talk about two things. And I may combine them tomorrow. God willing. The voting laws that are uh, the, the proposal from the Democrats that they've somehow put together and got Joe Manchin to agree on. Um, the fact that it does require voter ID and now all of these Democrats that were saying voter IDs were, uh, were racist are now coming back and said, nobody's ever said they were racist. Ugh. And like, we've got video y'all saying that they were racist. The president, the president called it Jim Crow 2.0. Okay. We're not stupid. We know what y'all have been saying about voter ID. This bill also mimics... It is very similar to the same voting bill that was passed in Georgia. And that's what they were calling Jim Crow 2.0. They literally encouraged the MLB, including Joe Biden, encouraged the MLB to drop Atlanta as the all-star game, costing them like $100 million, cost them black business owners God knows how much money. And... Uh, that as well as other things, and now they're pretending like they never did, they never said any of that. They're lying. This is this is why it's it's baffling to me. Anybody that pays attention to this stuff, why you would still be on the side of the Democrats? You don't have to be a Republican. You don't have to be a Trump supporter. But how many times does the left and the Democrats have to get it wrong before you, as a supporter, say to yourself, maybe maybe this is not the right side to be on. Maybe, maybe, maybe I need to go independent, you know? Maybe, maybe I need to try something else because these guys, they continue to get it wrong. The mainstream media continues to get it wrong. Or maybe those people don't think that because they don't pay attention to actually, to, to what's actually going on. They just follow the leader like good little sheep. They listen to what the media tells them. They listen to what Democrats tell them and they never research it. They never look into it. They listen to Hollywood. They listen to the music industry and they never question it. It's why they're sheep. Sheep, I tell you. So I was going to talk about that and also the fact that we're still going forward with this Hunter Biden blow art, which, I mean, could there be a better type of art for Hunter Biden? Um, there needs to be some serious oversight with this because it's obvious that his art is not worth half a million dollars. Yeah, that's what he's selling it for, right? Even a professional good artist that puts out great artwork, whatever that even means, would not sell their stuff for half a million dollars. It's obviously a pay-to-play deal and... The art is nothing more than an excuse for why Hunter Biden's getting paid big bucks. Again, and I, I know this comparison has been used time and time again, but what if this was the Trump kids? I mean, that's what I want to know from Democrats. What if it was Don Jr.? What if it was Eric Trump? Would you be okay with it? You Would you say nothing about it and say, yeah, that's fine? He's just doing his thing. And then Jen Psaki, Joe Biden's press secretary, has the audacity to take the, the podium and say, you know, we're the most ethical uh, administration in history, according to our ethics experts. <laughs> uh, you can't make it up. You can't make it up. Anyway, I want to apologize to y'all 
for not bringing you a show tonight. I just can't pull it off, and it breaks my heart. Um, but I wanted to give you all an update and let you know, as soon as I can get back, what we're going to be talking about. Also, y'all do me a favor, and, and for those of, of uh, the Over the Line clan that has not gotten the word that we're on this channel on the Over the Line Burner account, help me find them and get the word to them. Even if you've got to go through comments on YouTube or whatever, let them know, send them a message and say, hey, make sure you subscribe because this is where the show is going to be for the next couple weeks. Uh, I'll also see, I don't know if there's a way for me to put um, the, in the in the bio for the, for the Burner account or for the main account to go to the Burner account. I'll check on all that. But uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I appreciate those of you that are signed up on Patreon. That means a lot. We changed the lowest amount to $5. So if you got $5 a month, you can spare. If we get, you know, a bunch of y'all signed up for $5 a pop, man, we can do amazing things with this show. Absolutely amazing things. Also, Vapor Forge, don't forget about them. Uh, those guys are number one over there by Bailey Brothers. Go give them a shout. Stop by. If you vape, if you use CBD, Delta 8, any of that stuff, make sure you tell them you heard it on Over the Line. And we will love you a long time. They'll love you a long time. And uh, everybody will be happy. And we can keep rocking and rolling. So until tomorrow, we'll see you, cuz.